and away about between Tony Gravely and Victor Henry, minus 130 for Victor Henry, plus 130 for Tony Gravely, over under two and a half rounds, minus 179 for the over, plus 179 for the under. Both guys, a lot of experience. Uh, Victor Henry, this is his third fight in the UFC, came in against Barcelos, put on a masterclass on the feet against a guy who is no joke and really beat the brakes off him. He landed 181 significant strikes. Uh, we talked about this a little bit in, earlier in the show. But 3027 Hione Barcelos as a plus 380 underdog, which is for a debut, plus 380. You put on 181 significant strikes against a veteran like Barcelos. Very impressive. And then pretty much shits the bed in the next fight against a Sun Sal when he was a minus 400 favorite. So... Who the hell knows in this one, man? Like, who? What Victor Henry are we getting? Right. Was that just uh, an anomaly where he was just he was just on fire that night, or what? But in this one, he's probably gonna have to be defending some takedowns because Tony Gravely is gonna want to get it to the ground. Uh, we all know the deal with him: strong dude, smaller guy, wants to get it to the ground, wants to control you on the ground. Uh, his last fight against Bashrat wasn't able to do that. Bashrat just kind of pieced away at him on the feet. The thing that scares me in this one, uh, from taking Tony Gravely as the dog, I really like him, but the thing that scares me, he's been submitted five times, yeah, and Victor Henry has gotten, what is it, eight submission wins. Uh, so, I mean, that's kind of the way he wins. It's either by submission or decision. He either puts the, the pace on you on the feet or you can catch you on the ground. So... I don't know if I'm I'm going to be uh, having a side in this one just because of the unknowns with Victor Henry, but Tony Gravely's been around for a while, training out a good camp at America, the real American top team. A powerful dude. He just needs to avoid those submissions and implement his game plan. I think he gets the win, but that's a big if. What about you? No, I'm kind of the same way. It's hard to tell in this one because Gravely, you look at it too, he's got 10 knockouts. Um, and his recent losses... He lost to uh, obviously Javid, and Javid isn't gonna. Uh, or uh, sorry, Victor's not gonna be that style. He's not gonna have that super slick striking where, um, you know, you're not really sure which angle any of these shots are coming from. Um, and then he beat Johnny Munoz, Simon Oliveira. Uh, but other than that, man, he's not really fighting any super high level guys. And I guess the same could be said for for Henry too. Um, but like you said, man, it's all gonna come down to if he can avoid the submissions from Henry because we know the wrestling's there. We know he's going to try to shoot takedowns, but you cannot leave your neck open against Henry because he has the ability to snatch it up and he's creative with his submissions too. But on the feet, you know, if gravely can land, I think he'll be probably the more powerful guy, but overall, I just, I just don't see gravely being able to take Victor Henry down over and over in this fight. Um, and I think that is going to be his game plan here. And if he can't do that, I think I think uh, Victor Henry is going to walk away with it. I'm going to stick with Henry for my pick here too. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'll go with Gravely for my pick to be a contrarian. 